Honestly, I feel like the most interesting part about this uh, whole fake is that they said they have the blue paper correct. So when you rip a card, you can kind of see the blue paper. So I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Hopefully it focuses a little bit. So you can kind of see there's a tiny bit of blue on the top, like right here, and that would be the blue paper. So let me try to actually separate the blue paper for you guys. So that layer right here, this is the blue paper. Uh, Sphinx's Revelation, we're gonna rip in half this way. Wow, okay, wow, do you guys notice that? That is considerably different. So the Sphinx's Revelation is extremely blue as opposed to, I'm just gonna rip another magic card. Well, okay, I guess token cards do not have blue paper. Yeah, I don't wanna rip that one. Um, okay, let's rip this one. So if you compare the fake Sphinx's Revelation, and yes, I did rip a, a Revelation. So the Sphinx is on top, the real card's on bottom. That's a definitely a different type of blue. The blue in the Sphinx's Revelation is far more darker. And it's definitely not the correct composition, which might explain why it fails the light test. And you might be saying, how is this ever going to help anybody? Because by definition, you have to rip the card. It's just something to note that the composition of the paper, and that explains why the light test is different for the fake ones and the real ones, uh, makes it uh, not correct. So the magic real card has a light blue, a very, very faint blue. And the fake cards have a very dark blue, much, much darker than the one before. So hopefully that helps somebody. Maybe someone in the comments below can let me know how, what that means and how to identify that without destroying the card.